Hi everyone! We are back and today we are going to talk about five weird customs Cultures. from other countries. Yeah, and right now we are we are going to talk about the cultures in this in the countries. Number one, spitting on the bride at weddings in Greece. This practice was popularized thanks to 2002 film My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Spitting in Greek cultures is a kind of good luck charm that is supposed to help ward off the evil. Mm. Today, the custom typically doesn't involve guests hawking loogies at newlywed bride. Instead, it has evolved into a more symbolic act where guests mainly forcefully utter to Greeks do this to other special occasions too, including baptisms in order to acknowledge the beauty and good health of the baby. Mm. Spitting can, e can even be done as a superstitious measure to ward off evil during regular conversation. So on September 12th it is the day of the cons of concession in Russia. Cultures typically approach sex, marriage, and reproduction in unique ways. Russia may take the cake on these terms of institutional acceptance talk. This is because the declining birth rates of the country coupled with the unique proportion of women and of men and the alarmingly short lifespan of Russian men pose as serious concerns for the society. Therefore, the government has instead a public holiday created solely to give a couple's time of form work in order to have sex to have sex in the hopes that doing so will will result in a pregnancy. Parents whose babies are born exactly nine months nine months later can even win prizes for helping to keep the Russian bloodline going. And number three, it is the culture of tipping in the U.S. Another odd custom associated with the United States is its intricate tipping culture. Unlike many other countries who don't tip at all or who only tip in small amounts, when the food was particularly good, tipping is, rarely, is rather mandatory at most restaurants in the U.S. In fact, it is expected that patrons leave between 10 to 20 percent of the bill in tips. Wait staff rely on this gratuity for a living because legal wages for waiters are low. Further, there are rules for tipping bartenders, delivery people, and other service personnel. While some criticize this practice as irrational, there is no doubt that tipping culture in the U.S. gives an incentive for waiters and waitresses to provide better service. Number four, pointing with a thumb in Malaysia. Some countries find the act of pointing with the index finger to be abrasive and rude. While members of the most cultures would probably agree that pointing fingers, both literally and figuratively, isn't exactly the nicest things in the world. In countries like Malaysia and Indonesia, this gesture can be seen in an as incredibly offensive. Instead, it it is customary to gesture towards things with a thumb as this seen as a more polite option. In many countries in Africa, pointing a reserve for inanimate objects only, not people. And number five and the last one is slurping in Japan. Most societies in the world have rules about table etiquette. For Western cultures, noisily consuming food is considered rude. In Japan, however, making slurping sounds while eating has an entirely different meaning. This might have something to do with the fact that in Western countries, noodles are properly consumed by twirling them on a spoon before putting them in the mouth. Mm. Meanwhile, in the Japanese simply slurp up their noodles without contorting them first, an act that is naturally noisier than the former. Making slurping sounds when eating noodles in Japan is a way of naturally indicating that you're enjoying them. Some scientists even argue that slurping invites air into the palate and actually enhances those flavor. Okay, that's all the, uh, the cultures of, uh, in the countries. So don't forget to like, share, share and, and subscribe. subscribe. Bye.